Let's see. Thermals, mittens, and... Oh, <laughs> my head will be so toasty skiing down those snowy slopes. Where are you going for your vacation, Kit? <laughs> I'm going to the desert to get some sun and to study stink bugs. Uh, sounds hot and smelly and hot. <gasps> A new case! This old suitcase? Nah, I've had it for years. No, I mean, look! <gasps> Director Scratch has a new creature case for us. Let's go! Nice hat, Agent Snow. I know vacations are coming up, but we've got an urgent new case to unpack. So to speak. Howler monkeys at a jungle resort are falling out of their tree. Really? But howler monkeys are usually such great climbers. Indeed. But the mice squad's photos suggest that they were poisoned. Poisoned? But how? And why? That's what you two need to figure out. It's up to you to solve this mystery before another poisoned monkey falls. You can count on us, Director. Good luck, agents. <laughs> Time for me to fly the coop. Vacation! <laughs> at destination for you. <laughs> South American jungle. This looks like the place. Wow, if we weren't here for work, this would be a great vacation spot. Yeah, if you like your vacations extra hot and sweaty. Excuse me. Welcome to the Howler Monkey Resort for peace and relaxation. Why is she yelling? Howler monkeys are known for being pretty loud. We're from Clade, and we'd like to ask the manager a few questions. Ah, he's already being interviewed. Is that guy with you? Huh? Another detective? Who is that guy? Excuse me, I'm Agent Kid Casey, and this is Agent Sam Snow. And you are? Philip. Philip Knight, nocturnal detective. When you want a case solved, I'm the night monkey for the job. Aha! Kit, how does it feel to be in the presence of a master detective? Why, you see one around? I mean me. I've noticed another clue. Look at where we're standing. Under a tree? Exactly! All the rhino rages started under trees. Show her, Cluebot. Well, ain't that something. So there's a four-pod critter on the loose, jumping out of trees and scaring the rhinos. I think I saw it running away. You did? What it looked like, Reggie? Well, it was small, almost like a cat, with a pointy face and dark uh -huh. spots. Uh -huh. uh, like this? Yeah, that's it, but uh, without the go-kart. Eh, I just like drawing go-karts. Hmm. A spotted cat creature. Sounds like a leopard to me. A leopard? You better be pulling my horn. Leopard? There's a leopard on the loose? Not so fast, Sam. This was no leopard. Look, the spots don't match, see? We can't risk it. If there's even a chance a leopard is attacking folks, I gotta shut down the watering hole. Aww. Hold up, Reggie. You might be able to keep the party going. If we can just figure out... The bugs! Whiskers, that's it! What's it? Kit, I know who's jumping on the rhinos. And I know how to catch her too. Sam, this decoy looks pretty real. There's even bugs buzzing around it, just like a real rhino. But what's the plan here? Isn't it obvious? We're setting a trap. Someone with four muddy paws is jumping out of trees and onto the rhinos to eat the bugs. Of course! It must have been... <gasps> the janitor we met earlier! Whoa. There he goes! <laughs> Quick! She's getting away! Oh no, she's 
Somewhere. Hi. Yippee ki yay! Yippee ki yo! Easy, Kit. You'll be fine as soon as the venom wears off. Bill, Jill, can you keep an eye on her while I figure out what's going on with those healer monsters? Yeah, sure thing, Sam. Thanks. Be back soon. Sam, you know what? What? You're a nice kitty cat. <laughs> 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 been going on? Well, they've been fighting and rolling around wrecking stuff since, oh, around breakfast time. Well, that's good. Maybe they'll get tired soon. I wouldn't be so sure of that. Gila monsters have amazing stamina. They can keep this up all day. And the next day. And the next Kit, you should be resting. But thanks. <laughs> Gotta go! <sighs> there you go! Any idea why they're fighting? No idea! I just know that soon the whole town's gonna be nothing but a pile of rubble! Don't worry, Clade is on the case! Uh-oh! Oh my... Uh, excuse me, ma'am! Quick, get down! Well, Sam is real confused now. He really misses his partner. Maybe she'd know what to do. Would you guys cut it out? Sorry. Come on, Sam. You can figure this out. Nobody knows why those Gila monsters are fighting all over town. But we do know where they've been fighting. Hey, maybe that's a clue. Clue bots, show me all the damage these Gila monsters have done. Hmm, all the fighting has taken place around this one spot. Maybe it's important. Maybe it's a pile of rocks. A pile of rocks! That's it! Kids, you really need to rest. Sam, those rocks are exactly the kind of place Gila monsters like to live. And I bet they both want to live there. Maybe I'd like to live there too. Whiskers, that's it! The Gila monsters are fighting over a home! <gasps> oh no! That giant boulder is the most important monument in our town! So much for their new home. Well, on the bright side, now they have nothing to fight over. <sighs> An oasis. Think she got thirsty? Morats actually don't drink. They get all the water they need from their food. Oh, well maybe she stopped to rest. Let's ask around. Excuse me, sir. Have you seen this mole rat? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I seen her. When? <laughs> she passed through a little while ago. She was wearing a real fancy hat. Looked brand new. A fancy hat? Like a tiara? No, I'd say it was more like a crown. Like the one the mole rat queen herself wears. Yeah, 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 just like that one. Hmm. hmm. Um, excuse me. Sorry. I thought I saw a bug. So the princess got a new crown. But where's she going with it? Agents? <laughs> Gotta stop doing that. Her Highness requests a report on the whereabouts of the princess. We haven't found her yet. Please hurry, Agent. I fear she may not last much longer out here. What with all the enemies of our people lurking about. <laughs> oh, my tubers! <laughs> See what I mean? Wow. Good thing the mole rat's tunnels stretch all the way out here. 
I can't believe we're still standing over the palace. Hang on. Sam. Huh? I think I know where the princess is going. Come on! We know the princess left alone and that she was last seen wearing a crown. Now, the princess must be heading past the boundaries of the palace. Okay, but why? Because she wants to start her own mole rat colony. That's why she left alone and why she was wearing a crown. Whiskers, that's it. She's going to make her own palace and become a new mole rat queen. Exactly. But we're not the only ones looking for her. We gotta find her before that hungry owl does. Which way to the closest palace border? This way. <gasps> and there's the princess. Princess, get to cover. <laughs> princess, <laughs> dig. <laughs> She's not gonna make it on the ground in time. Oh yes, she will. Blue box, dig. <laughs> Princess, are you all right? I'm just marvelous. Thank you for your help. But I'm not a princess anymore. I'm now a queen. And this will be my new palace. The nursery chamber will go there. And the toilet chamber over there. Good news, Your Majesty. Your daughter is safe and sound. Oh, thank goodness. I'm Agent Sam Snow. And I'm Agent Kid Casey. I'll see you now. Stay cool out there, Aiden. You can count on us, Director. <laughs> <laughs>